Hey there, Aries. So you guys, I am doing a new read for you. Bear with me um, as I, I'm going to fine tune this read. Um, it's the first one I've ever done. So this is your cosmic brownie points. All right. Planting seeds to kind of reap some good karmic rewards. And um, we're going to see where your concentrated growth has been as of late. Um, you should resonate with this uh, read pretty much throughout the whole existence of it. If you don't, check your other placements. But if you feel drawn to check your other placements anyway, um, I felt really good. I've only done the air sign so far. And um, like I said, as I move uh, on and forward, I'm going to fine tune this read in the future. So, um, But it's been really good. All right, so we're going to start the read off with the Oracle card, and then we're going to go through and see concentrated growth. Like I said, your positive life experiences, the energies you attract and advice to protect yourself, as well as the seeds you can plant to help them and the others um, that are kind of in your uh, vicinity, whether physically or at a distance, what they gain from you and your karmic points, as well as the next phase of your journey. So what you can call in, where you're going to go. All right. Do I believe I am worthy? You are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life that you have dreamt up. Your crown has been um, bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Today's soul action for a big goal or dream you have to ask. You have for a big goal or dream you have ask. <laughs> you have to ask yourself. Do I feel worthy of this? Today's mantra is I am worthy of it all. It looks like they made a typo in that card. All right, so um, that's that's your oracle message. So let's just see where your concentrated growth has been for you. Your concentrated growth. So focusing on um, wishes, dreams. You have the angel of hope coming through. And I feel like this card is coming through because you do desire change. You desire growth. You desire to call in everything that you know is kind of owed to you. And I'm, and I'm not saying that to be like, you know, that we're acting like spoiled brats, but it's my time, right? Damn it. Yes, it is. All right. So I feel like where you're, you, so we have, um, you have, you have the angel of courage with strength and the angel of happiness with the sun card. So what you've really been doing is concentrating on your own fulfillment, designing the life that's going to bring you all your hopes, dreams, and wishes, um, to come true. The sun card is the happily ever after card. And I feel like what you're recognizing is that you do, you deserve that you deserve abundance when it comes to the emotional, physical, and mental body. You know, um, the sun card is, I want my happily ever after, and I'm going to do whatever I can to to get that and it starts with me right we have a strength card coming through and I just feel like you know that you've had to make certain changes and sacrifices in the past um, but it's been worth it up to this point you're starting to see the rewards all right come back to you this star card right here is all about like, hopes and dreams it's having a vision for the future um, that's a humanitarian card just as well you guys so really I kind of feel like you it's about your happiness so um learning the balance of uh, being of service to self. All right. Um, and we're going to see what you can do to be of service to others so that you can call in some of this um, awesome karma that's coming your way. All right. So I'm going to pull uh, with tarot. We're going to see what the positive life experiences have been. Your positive life experiences for Aries. The positive life experiences. All right. We have the princess of disc coming through. Wow. So I'm going to say this card, the fact that it's coming through to me, it shows that you've done effort. You put the effort in to kind of learn from the past mistakes and failure, you know, failures. All right. The wounding, um, the wounds have healed. It's like you're, you're growing towards, um, opportunities. You're this right here is all about manifestation. All right. Um, out with the old dynamic and in with the new, um, this is somebody who has dealt with procrastination, maybe on your end, maybe from other people, but also it's lack of progress in life. All right. Fine tuning your skills for this um, positive, positive growth that you have, you're, you're stepping into it, you've, you have, you're managing it well. All right. Um, so it's like you bit you, you've been there, done that you've made mistakes, you've cleaned them up, you know, um, what else is going on with you? We have the chariot card coming through, which is positive forward movement. Um, this right here is also, you know, kind of having this inner knowing that you are protected. You're a protected person here on earth. And you know what, um, the relationships and everything that you encounter is going to be protect protected. All right. Um, I feel like your positive life experiences is, is that of, you know, being thankful that you are here. This is a protection card, no matter 
matter how many ups and downs you've been through, no matter how many trials and tribulations you've been through, you've been able to surpass them by moving forward. It's only up. You can only go up. When you're at the bottom, you can only go up. And then we have this eight of pentacles, which is um, prudence. All right. Hard work and efforts, man, are starting to pay off. And, and you've seen that. Um, it's like you've seen the miracles that can happen when you really put your mind and body and focus into something that you want. You know, you want change. You want to grow. You got to put that work in. Right. And you're here. You can, It's like you can attest to that. You know, it starts with your mindset. Where do you want to go? All right. So let's see what kind of energies you attract. The energies you attract. The energies you attract around you. All right. So I'm just trying to look at these cards. We got the Hierophant. So you guys could be spiritually evolved in some way, shape, or form. You guys could already be planting a lot of seeds. All right. And you could just be here for some sort of a confirmation to see what's coming next. The reason why I say that is because we have the Hierophant card coming through here, which is order its rules. Um, but this right here too tells me that you are on a spiritual journey for the most part. Um, and that's why everything just seems to be probably coming to you pretty easy. All right. Um, so with the energies um, that... Uh, the, uh, you attract they're drawn to your it's like you have a natural healing effect when it comes to those that are around you we have the queen of discs that shows up and she actually showed up in reverse so this could be per people that have difficulties um with work with home with kids you know with self-care with self-love you know um f stability financial stability i just kind of feel like um with this energy coming through i feel like you kind of have a tendency to um reach wounded souls all right but that's not a bad thing. They're just connect they're attracted to your aura, but we do have to be careful with that and protect ourselves with that. Um, and the offset of that, you attract this King of Swords energy, which is, um, you know, people that have established mental clarity, um, intellectual power, people that are authoritative, truthful, honest. All right. Um, in the in the re reverse aspects of this, even though it didn't drop in reverse, you could also be dealing with people in a position of power. Um, you know, I gotta say, I, I'm feeling a real heavy spiritual essence. To to this read um, that you could actually be dealing with people who do kind of embody the spiritual ego and I think we're all guilty of that but it's like there's no one way that's right you know we're all right there's no such thing as wrong um, again the prince of wands coming through and this right here is, uh, again, in reflection to the passionate st state of mind, um, the passionate beings, um, the people who are taking inspired action to get stuff done, you know. Um, and if you kind of look at the reverse of this, this is people who have been frustrated with scattered energy, people who act in haste. This is players, people who manipulate, you know. Um, I kind of feel like the people that you attract into your life are um, from all scales of life and people who are trying to learn all right, to dig themselves out of the past and really grow into themselves. And I feel like they, they, they get that from you. Um, and I feel like they're inspired by your words and where you've been. All right. So let's just see what you can do to protect yourself um, when it comes to these people. Even when we're trying to be good and do good things, it doesn't mean that we won't get bit in the ass, right? We have the Ace of Wands coming through. We got the Nine of Wands, which is strength. You got strength. And then we got the full card. All right. So I kind of feel like where you can protect yourself when it comes to these energies with the nine of wands, you know, that is having a guard up. It's, it's just kind of, um, it's, re it's respectfully, um, protecting your energy when it comes to other people. So being aware of the energy vampires. All right. Um, and it's like, don't put too much focus. Um, don't spend too much time in, w in one space, one place. You know, with the Ace of Wands, I kind of feel like the protection is going to come from new ideas and activities um, that just kind of na naturally pull you away from staying too long in one spot, you know. Um, and I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about more of the energetic essence, you know. Um, and I kind of feel like you already know that. For whoever is here, I feel like, you know, you're, you're probably... I'm not going to say you're rolling your eyes, but it's like you're preaching to the choir. I already know how to protect my peace. I could be talking to people who actually do guided meditations uh, month monthly or weekly to pr kind of protect that energy. But it's like you don't really need a lot of help. Um, and learning how to protect yourself from energy vampires or people that need stuff, you know, I mean, it's easy like that queen of so the queen of coins that came in reverse and um, people who are kind of codependent people that kind of need reassurance. Um, it's like you gift them the seeds and then you, you navigate away because you know what it is when you give too much um, people tend to take right. 
And I feel like what what keeps you on your toes basically is there's it's always something new. You have the Ace of Wands, which is n um, new beginnings, but it's a, it's a heightened um, energy and it's a heightened burst of passion. It's like there's new things that constantly keep you um, thriving. Um, so it's like you're not stuck in one space, especially when it comes to people and their energy. And with the full card too, it's always um, changes and new beginnings coming for you. And I feel like you welcome th that concept in. And I feel like that's where all of this energy is coming from. It's like, bring it on. I could take on more. So I really feel like the protection is coming from you keeping yourself busy in other aspects and I feel like you're already aware of that all right so let's just see what seeds um, other seeds you can help plant um, to help people grow the seeds you can help plant for people to grow we got virtue coming through with the three of wands the sky's the limit man this is also a travel card I don't know if you guys actually travel but I kind of feel like travel has something to do with who's here um, and I feel like this is like don't welcome welcome any and all you know ventures that come your way all right i feel like this is passion it's like waiting for those ships to come in and just knowing without doubt this is re the removal of doubt you know i kind of feel like i'm talking to somebody who um who, who possibly deals with law of attraction manifestation you know you probably know a lot about quantum physics it doesn't have to be i just kind of feel like you're telling people right here the sky's the limit man um you know don't wait for your ships to come in you go get those ships i feel like what you're here to do is re-inspire people and this is the first read i've done actually that where your energies that are around you while some of them may just be negative within themselves you don't actually have very much negative energy if any at all all right um, the emperor, the emperor, sorry, coming through, um, learning how to tap into divine femininity. All right. Learning how to love oneself. This is the abundance card too. Again, we're coming into manifestation, law of attraction, and learning how to call in what it is your heart desires, being in vibration and being in um, mental alignment with what it is you want. All right. Teaching people the true um, versions of love and what it means to be at home, whether it's a soul tribe, you know, especially kind of reaching people who just don't feel like they belong, the black sheep, the people who don't feel comfortable around anyone anymore. Um, reaching out to the soul tribe. This is also um, teaching people to be comfortable, comfortable with themselves, how to, how to, how to just be comfortable in the moment, you know, be in the here and the now, um, learning how to, uh, hey, le learning the difference between depression, living in the past, anxiety, living in the future, but being in the present moment. All right. And this is also um, a security, feeling secure with oneself. Um, you know, I kind of feel like you can promote growth in these um, energies in several different ways. We also have luxury coming through with the four of cups, just abundant opportunities, the multiple, the multitude of opportunities um, that, that can come towards a person when they're in alignment. Again, I just feel like you're preaching to people, man. Um, if you're not already planting these seeds, I just feel like people are going to grow from you and they have um, the opportunity to do so in several different ways as long as they're they're picking up those seeds, you know. Um, I, I feel like I are, I feel like you're, you're already on a roll. I feel like this is just a huge confirmation for somebody um, who's already out there doing the, their, their soul work, you know? So let's just see what they gain from you, what these people actually gain from you. What are they gaining from Aries? This is beautiful. We got the Magus. Look at that. That's the magician card right here, you guys. This right here is what they're learning how to manifest and create their own reality. All right, this right here is taking inspired action. You see something, you want it, you go after it, and you do it with a positive mindset. All right, we got oppress um, oppression coming through with the ten of wands, and I feel like this card is coming through saying it's okay to it's okay. This right here is a, a determination card. It's a focus card, you know. But it's like, hey, through every hump and bump, through all the trials and tribulations, I will prevail. I'm gonna keep moving, you know. And I feel like what you gift to people right here through that ten of wands is determination. All right, look at that. The knight of wands coming through. You got the two of wands coming through just as well. It's all fiery, passionate energy. Um, I just feel like you elevate people, you give them a vision for the future. And that's what that two of wands is going to represent. And with the knight of wands, I feel like you're reinstilling passion, um, heightened energy, you know, you're giving people um, the inspiration, all right, to go after what it is they want in huge, significant, positive ways. All right, so let's just see what kind of karmic points you're 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 banking up um, right here, what kind of karmic rewards you are getting, what's coming to you in the form of positive karma. Wow. So we're talking to um, somebody who's teaching um, about the divine feminine aspects, right? Um, you got the emperor and the empress showing up. So if you guys don't have a soul partner yet, 
or a person that is very, very near and dear that's going to, that you have to kind of, it's like a ride or die, right? This person's going to be entering your life. I could tell by the way that Empress showed up and how you're kind of planting seeds, you know, teaching people about the balance, the yin, the yang, the masculine and feminine. Um, I almost feel compelled to tell you guys, not almost, I'm going to tell you guys, I really feel like you guys have the, you have a divine purpose coming through with somebody who's going to be very powerful and positive. All right to your purpose we have justice card because it is worth it it's owed to you um what you've signed up for is coming in it's coming in all the way all right and that's what that is um it, just a super big confirmation and you got love coming through with the two of cups so for those of you who are here and you're on a spiritual journey and you've kind of questioned your own dynamic on the soul level about romantic aspects of love i'm going to tell you this the universe right here is brewing up the the, the partnership, the connection of a lifetime. You guys, if you have not seen it yet, and if you already have that connection, it's going to be strengthened through this journey. Um, you know, as long as you guys are, are continuing to plant these seeds of positivity. So let's just see what the next phase of your journey is coming to. The next, uh, the next phase y'all are stepping into. Look at this. The angel of prophecy coming through. Wow. With the hanged man and the angel of innocence with the full card, you guys. This is a brand new. Um, it's a prophet. Like the angel of prophecy. Man, if you guys, um, I got to tell you, coming back to that divine couple I'm talking about right here or the um, accelerated version of you and the current person that you're with, I'm going to say this, there is going to be like something that just blows you away with this um, dynamic, especially if you guys have had uncertainty on the single aspect and wondered about your own path and what you're supposed to be a part of. There's something huge that's going to shift in your favor and it's going to set you on a brand new path. The angel of innocence coming through with that full card. Wow. Okay. Brand new beginnings. And I feel like it's changes that you could never, ever anticipate or expect in this lifetime. Aries, what a beautiful read, you guys. I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I truly I hope that I get some positive feedback from you guys if you are still here at the very edge of this. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think next time I'm going to do it, I'm going to clarify these cards a little bit more. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Aries, you guys stay beautiful. Take care.